Hello, this is Kate from DailyTarotGirl.com, and this is your weekly tarot card reading. And for this reading, I'm using my Crystal Visions tarot deck. Before I get into the reading, I just want to let you know about a free upcoming webinar that I'm going to be doing on February 11th. It's a Thursday evening, and I'm going to be pairing up with Bridget from BiddyTarot.com. And we're going to be delivering you a awesome first rate webinar on how to read tarot for yourself in just five minutes. So if you're interested in joining us for that webinar, I'm going to put the link to register in the about section or in the description of this video just below. So if you just look below, there's going to be a link there that will take you to the sign up page. Okay. Okay, so let's get into the reading. So the first card is going to represent Monday and Tuesday of the upcoming week. Okay, I apologize, my lighting is kind of weird today. I've got the sun shining on me. Okay. So Monday we've got Page of Swords. Now the Page of Swords, um, this is a card about learning how to, I like to think of this as about learning how to strategize, how to strategize <laughs> properly. So how to develop a strategy. So at the beginning of the week, I see there, there might be some challenges in figuring things out. And this is like challenges in like the logistics of things, like figuring something out, um, you know, smoothing out an issue, and, and I think it's something, a lot of it might be like technical issues, um, scheduling issues, just kind of like boring stuff like that. And um, the, so right at kind of Monday and Tuesday, there's going to be a lot of like, um, I don't want to say confusion, but yeah, there's going to be maybe some mix up, some confusion, and it's going to be a little bit of a minor challenge to kind of um, figure things out kind of unravel things and get things working again. And then as we move into the middle of the week, so Wednesday and Thursday, we've got the hanged man. Now the hanged man is about surrender and it's about giving up that need to control everything. And, um, <laughs> and it comes after the page of swords. And I, I, I see this page of swords as kind of representing frustration. And it's that frustration that can sometimes come with um, kind of minor things. And I'm trying to think of like an example, like, I don't know, just trying to figure out some minor computer thing, um, something like that, you know, something that just isn't working right. And it's just frustrating and you just want to figure it out and get it done. So that's kind of what this card represents, that kind of frustration that oh, things aren't going as smoothly as I want them to go. And then with the hangman, this is about kind of giving that up. So giving that up to the universe and just saying, okay, I trust that this is going to work itself out, that I'm going to figure it out and stressing and freaking out about it is not going to make it go smoother or make it go any faster or easier. So, you know, just surrender. And there's that saying, you know, control the things you can control and, and you know, don't worry about the things you can't control. Um, and I feel like that's kind of uh, a saying that kind of, you know, goes with the hangman. So, you know, you know, know what, do what you can do. Um, but there's going to be things that you don't have control over and it's helpful to maybe kind of let go of that and just kind of trust that that everything's going to going to work out and unfold in the right timing in the way that it needs to. Um, okay, I'm going to probably come back to this card, but I want to move on to the last card. This is the card of the weekend, Friday, Saturday and Sunday. And we've got the page of wands. So we have two pages and I feel like these pages have very different um, energies to them. So the Page of Wands is more of an inspired card. When I look at the Page of Wands, I think of, you know, feeling inspired to create something, to just be in the moment. Like as you can see the, the page here, she's, um, she's playing a flute and she's just like resting she's got bare feet she looks really relaxed and she's you know curled up with a dragon and she's playing a song 
and I feel like I feel like the energy of this card is really about um, being relaxed enough and trusting enough to kind of create and to learn new things um, and I feel like that's what this card is about it's about you know being inspired and and learning some kind of skill or some kind of creative art so you might be taking like a workshop this weekend or something like that that has you kind of learning something new or even just like practicing like playing the flute like she's doing or practicing some kind of art or dance or something like that okay so when I look at all of these cards together um, I'm just noticing the difference in posture of these people so the first card I feel like I feel like the girl in the first card has like a certain kind of tenseness about her like she's waiting for something bad to happen <laughs> and it sort of you know really indicates that feeling of kind of tension and stress and then the middle card is totally the opposite so this guy is just like floppy he's loose he's hanging upside down he's got his eyes closed um, this is about not so much relaxation but just like letting go and just that feeling of relief that comes from just kind of letting go of things and then the last card I feel like this pose is kind of a combination between the two so um, the the girl in the page of wands is relaxed she has a relaxed pose but she's also not powerless um, like the guy in the hangman is kind of powerless he's tied up he's hanging upside down not a lot of power there whereas um, the page of wands you know her posture is more more empowered more in control but also relaxed and I feel like that is kind of the balance we're going for this week um, and I don't think there's gonna be any like major life challenges this week nothing major this is just kind of the minor everyday kind of stuff that we're going to be navigating through this week and the challenge is to strike that balance between um, you know not getting too overly stressed about things surrendering things but not being like this limp noodle that doesn't do anything so <laughs> you know finding finding that kind of balance another thing that I'm noticing that my attention is just so powerfully drawn to is this tunnel of light that's right in the center of the hangman. To me, it looks very magical. It almost looks like, like this tunnel leading to some kind of like mystical world or mystical plane. And I just, my attention is so drawn there. I feel like I'm being sucked into that tunnel. Now, um, please feel free to, to comment about that. Like if you notice that tunnel too, and feel, feel free to comment on what you feel that tunnel of light represents for you because I'm not sure what it represents for me I just feel drawn to it and it feels very mysterious and very magical but I'm not sure how to interpret it <laughs> just off the top of my head um, it almost feels you know it feels to me like I know I said that this week is not about major life challenges or anything like that it's about the minor things but I think that even as we're going through kind of minor everyday things in our lives, there's always this powerful kind of subtext in that, um, sure, what we're doing may not be, you know, technically important, um, but there is though that like, I don't think I'm describing this very well, but there's that underlying, there's the underlying shifts and changes that we go through on more of an emotional and energetic level. And those are sometimes much more powerful and more important than we realize. I feel like that's what that tunnel of light to me uh, kind of represents is that um, what's important here is not that we figure things out or that we do things correctly, but that we are able to achieve a particular feeling state while we're going through these challenges and develop a particular sense of trust in ourselves and in the world and in life and, you know, a particular kind of respect for ourselves as we you know navigate through stressful situations and things like that so um, overall really nice week I love the weekend <laughs> the weekend's my favorite thank you so much for watching this reading I hope you found it helpful and you can find out more about me and about tarot cards and learning tarot on my website dailytarotworld.com